Also didn't come in yet. Yes, please hold her, Mrs. Rowan. Hello? Yes, this is she. I'm calling in regard to your advertisement in the Herald. The apartment's in Inwood. No, I am unmarried. Recently widowed, actually. A personal tour would be grand. And in terms of rent, is that... I, I'm sorry, I'll have to call you back. Changing your residence? I am just considering my options. Mr. Bennett is still at lunch. May I get you something, Mr. Redstone? Have you any milk? Certainly. May I inquire as to your salary, Mrs. Rowan? Eleven dollars per week with the occasional bonus for good performance. That's $572 annually, with a prospective yearly rental of over half that. I imagine you're frugal, but uh, subtracting for the grocer, transportation, clothing, sundries, and what have you, it seems these particular quarters are above your means. I fail to see what business this is of yours. May I offer you some free advice? Is there anything more expensive in the world? Forget this place and call me. I own several buildings uptown. Perhaps I could steer you to more suitable accommodations. In exchange for what? Your boss, Mr. Bennett, he and his ilk are systematically driving down the price of Anaconda Realty stock in which I'm invested. Soon, no doubt, they plan on buying it back. I need to know when this happens. I could lose my job. Yes, you could, or perhaps gain something better. <laughs> Come on, Abe. Quit flirting. Hello, Robert. Nice chatting with you, Mrs. Rowan. Got something special coming in. You're the first person I thought of. 